What's going on, Gas Gang? Today, we're back with a little verse large showdown between two German creations that reside on two completely different platforms. However, we think you'll be very surprised by just how closely matched these two actually are. Stay tuned for this one. It's going to be sick. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back once again to the OG Battles, where we pitch crazy creations against each other to see which build comes out on top. And today is no different. In one corner, we've got a big old tuned heavyweight mixing limousine luxury levels with mind-bending performance. And in the other corner, a hardcore engine-swapped all-wheel drive hot hatch built to be a notorious point-to-point -point killer. A random pairing, yes, but today's races will not disappoint. And in partnership with RaceLogic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these savages perform. Let's get over and meet both cars and their owners. So first up today, repping for the hot hatch enthusiasts, welcoming Anton from Level Up Giveaways back to the battles, driving his insane Audi RS3 engine swapped, 2.5 litre, 5 cylinder, stage 2, 520 brake horsepower, Volkswagen Golf R. Modifications include a full Dazza RS3 running gear conversion, including engine, gearbox and rear diff, an RPC inlet manifold, MRC Stage 2 ECU software and an MRC Stage 3 TCU remap. The Golf R S3 is running on Michelin PS4 street tyres all round and is estimated to weigh in at around 1500 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 346 brake horsepower per tonne. The Golf R drives all four of its wheels via its Haldex four wheel drive system and DQ500 dual clutch RS3 transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against and repping for the luxury sleeper community, it's James from Performance Tuned Pro, driving his 4 litre V8 twin turbo 770 brake horsepower Audi SA tuned by Performance Tuned Pro. So the SA is literally stepping up today with just a stage 1 ECU remap with no hardware to achieve his ridiculous power figure. And not only does it look heavy, but it is heavy, weighing 500kg more than the Little Golf at 2000kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 385 brake horsepower per tonne. It's running on Pirelli P0 street tyres and also drives all four of its wheels, however via its traditional auto torque converter transmission and quattro drivetrain. Anton, the main man from yes. Level Up Giveaways. What's what going on? I, I usually do this, we just got to make sure man gets that spud, feels the love. Um, good to have you back on the channel as ever, bro. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Um, you've pulled up in a rather strange configuration of a Golf R there, bro. Yes, Golf R with a Dazza engine. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now, very capable, um, I mean, it, when they're Golf R's with the EA Triple Eight, they're very capable. With a yeah. Dazza engine, even more so, I'd assume. But um, at this power level, um, we know these are very fast, yeah. but you've got a car that's a lot powerfuler, more powerful should I say, yeah. but it's a lot heavier. That's what I'm thinking, it's heavy. How do you heavy, reckon it's going to pan out? Do you, you reckon it's just going to be like a whitewash, like you're going to gap him? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Fair play. You know what, yeah, I have to. This is the third time now. <laughs> Have you won one I still, yet? I still, I, no, oh, I still got no sugar coat. So <laughs> if I don't win, I'm just going to sell the car and I ain't coming back. So, so, Bro, nah. listen, if you don't win this one, I'll make sure you win the next one. I'll, I'll set up so you win the next one. I was going to let his tie down, innit? <laughs> no, I um, no. The weighted disadvantage for him, I think uh, it should go well. That gets off the line. Yeah. Obviously, it's an RS3 engine. It's got all the RS running gear as well. Got so that diffed a lot. Okay. So I think personally, it'll do very, very well. Okay. Rolling, I'm a bit worried about. Okay. Mainly because this has got some sort of um, rolling anti-lag 
So okay. you put your foot down when you're rolling and it's like doo -doo -doo, then goes. Oh, okay. So maybe you might catch me there, but okay. We'll All see. right. Well, well whatever happens, bro, listen, I'm root I didn't know, I couldn't remember that you didn't have a win yet here. So <laughs> maybe you'll get your first win today. Hopefully, um, man. But if you Hopefully. don't, enjoy it regardless. And uh, if I don't have yeah. to buy some sugar cones. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You might actually have to put your hand in your pocket, bro. <laughs> All, right, All right, bro, let's uh let's get into it, man. Cool. Let's race. James, welcome to the channel, mate. Hi there. Bro, you've uh, you've pulled up in a, a pretty unsuspecting but very fast car. Yes. Yeah. Um, but a very heavy car. Heavy, yeah. And you're racing a very fast car today. I know. Um, now, uh, I don't know how much heavier you are exactly. Hopefully, I'd already said the stats. Um, but you've got more power. Yeah. Now, we all know how well golf cars get off the line with the four-wheel drive setup. They do, yeah. How do you fancy your chances? Drag race and roll race. How do you think it's going to pan out today? Drag off the start. If it's dry, then I think... Uh, It'll be interesting to see, but okay. I reckon he'll have me off the launch. Okay. Rolling, 30, uh -huh. I might have a chance, I don't okay. know. Okay. Got more speed, more torque, yeah, heavier, yeah, yeah. Yep. but we'll have to see. Okay. It'll be interesting. Are you pretty confident though? Uh, Let's get some trash talk going. Confident. Mm. I'll take that as a yes, he's confident, guys. <laughs> he thinks he's going to win today. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yeah. listen, bro, whatever happens, it's going to be an interesting watch. Yeah, and for science will. sake, today we're going to find out, bro. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, That's enjoy it. the day and uh, let's race. Great. So, as usual, they're going to be battling it out for the revered Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra-effective, super-sweet-smelling ceramic waterless washes. First up today, it's the roll races. But before they hit the strip, let's hear what they sound like. <laughs> Now, the roll races work like this. The left car is the pace setting car, the two agree a start speed and the left car sets it. It's then the car on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit that start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. S8 got the big old gaparoni there. I mean, the S8 is quick, but the RS3, I don't even know what to call it, a Golf RS3? Yeah. 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 All right, line them up for the second. I'm not even going to get too gassed because in all my races, I win the first one, and then the rest I lose. So I'm staying humble. And in an incredibly close first race, the Golf R makes it to the line first by around a car length. That was mad. Let's line them back up and go again. I heard Anton get on that throttle way before the line. Anton, bro, you know I love you, but... Yeah, man, even his family members are saying he's jumping, so... And he only won by half a car. Oh, we've got to line that one back up. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Cool. That was close. 
and the golf takes it by a small margin. This is intensely close, but we gotta line it up properly. This needs to be a fair start. Let's go again. <laughs> oh, the, first time. Way early. the first time we fought, but we left it. The second ah, okay. time, and because the distance at the, at the finish line is very close. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Work into the line, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got another chance. Come on. Do you know what's mad now? So Anton's trying to be too much of a gentleman and uh, he started behind. However, the S8 is the pace car, so there's no excuse to be behind for Anton. Ooh, so the S8 one, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And that time, the S8 takes it by around three car lengths. It's one all. Right, let's line them back up for a decider. I have no clue. I have no clue. I feel like they were both a little bit eager on the start, but I think they were both eager on the start there. So I don't know. Let's 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 find out. We're getting a lot of finish line, finish line. Who uh, who won that? The golf won it by half a car. That's all she wrote. However, after closely looking at the finish line footage, the golf did not win by half a car. In fact, the race was so close, after watching it back many times. It's impossible to say who won. So just to absolutely confuse things, this one's going down as a draw. Let's just take a look over at the fastest 100 to 200 kph times recorded by the VBOX PBT during the runs to shed some light on who was actually moving faster. And unbelievably, the Audi S8 proves to be the faster car on the rolls going 100 to 200 kph in just 7.59 seconds. The Golf R runs an extremely close best time of 7.69 seconds, just one tenth of a second slower. That's data to help clear up the results. But remember, it's first to the line, not the fastest time. And round one ends in a draw. Next up is to drag races. And this is absolutely anybody's guess of which way this might go. Place your bets. Ready, set, go. I'd be interested to see who won that. Now, it looks like the Golf won that, but the Audi got off differently. Finish line, who won that? Who won that? The uh, Audi won that. Uh, 
Oh, the Audi's on smoke! Jeez! And the Audi S8 leaves with a strong launch and takes the win, handing Anton a two lengths Gaparoni at the finish line. This is crazy. Let's line them back up and go again. Ready, set, go! <laughs> This is so close. Honestly, I did not think that S8 had a chance on, on the uh, on the launches. Finish line, who won that? Won it by a bumper. All by a bumper. Bro, I didn't hear that. You'll have to say that again, bro. Could you say that slowly? Who won that? The Golf won by a bumper. Oh, the Golf's back in the game by a bumper. Woo! I did not think it would be this close. I did not think it would be this close. Okay, so. Although the finish line marshal thought the golf just took it, we decided to open a steward's inquiry after the race day to investigate this. And once again, in one of the closest races we have ever seen here on the battles, watching the footage back, slowing it down and then zooming in, we actually believe that Audi S8 took the win by the smallest of margins. Madness. However, under the impression the golf are red one, we lined them back up for another run. However, Technically, the S8 is the drag race best two out of three winner. It's all getting very confusing. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I'm saying it looked like the golf I had it that time. It looked like he got the better start. It, it looked like he got the better start. Finish line, finish line. Who, who won that, man? And the winner was the golf by about half a car then. Still close though, man. That is mad. That's mad. And in the final race, the golf off flips the script and takes the win by a bumper. But sorry, Anton, it doesn't count. You know what? That was a that was a perfect match, you know. That was a that sick was matchup. Sick. That was... Yeah, are you boys? Smart? I never thought it would be that close, you know. Eleven flat. Eleven flat. What? Like Two point eight six to sixty in this bus. <laughs> he might have even done quicker. That was his last yeah. race. That is insane. That don't make no sense. Now, hey, well done, both of you boys. You got you, you pulled it together at the end, and <laughs> that, that was some serious that's races. Serious. That's sick. So once again, let's clear up which one of these cars are actually faster by delving into the fastest quarter mile and zero to 60 times achieved by the two during the runs using a V-Box PBT. Looking at the run graph side by side, these two are almost identically matched. However, in a crazy twist, the Golf R actually proves to be the faster car, running a quarter mile in a rapid 10.93 seconds at a speed of 125 miles per hour. The S8, seven hundredths of a second slower, runs a strong time of 11 seconds dead, 
for an identical trap speed of 125 miles per hour. Unfortunately, both cars just off pace to chart with the top 15. Then taking a look over at the fastest zero to 60 times, once again, the Golf R proves to be the faster car, hitting 60 in just 2.77 seconds. The SA, extremely close matched, hit 60 in 2.82 seconds, just five hundredths of a second slower. Unfortunately, once again, both cars just off pace to chart with the top 15. However, once again, it's first to the line, not the fastest time, and round two goes to James and that impressive Audi SA. So a draw in round one and a win in round two means that James actually takes the overall win here today at the battles. And although we didn't give it to him at the time, James, I promise a full set of sugar coats, ultra effective, super sweet ceramic waterless washes and the sugar coat cup are on the way in the post. Congrats, bro. So today ended in an ultra confusing but ultra entertaining set of races. And although these cars could be seen as polar opposites, they might actually be the closest performance matchup we've seen here on the battles, with a complete mixed bag of super close results. Both epic cars in their own rights, but the S8 just shining a little brighter today with its crazy mix of luxury and performance. Possibly the ultimate mob boss getaway car. <laughs> So guys, let me know what you thought of today's matchup and the results, and of course, which one of the two you'd prefer on your drive and why. And also, don't forget you can save 20% off the whole Sugarcoat product range using my unique code OG20. Links can be found down below in the description. Go on, treat your car. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notification bell. And we'll be back same time, same place, with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.